All right, guys, today we are going to uh, be replacing the factory stereo in my 2002 Jeep Wrangler TJ. Uh, it's got a dead CD player in it, so we're going to put the Alpine CDE SXM 145BT. Um, this actually is a bundle, it comes with the Sirius XM antenna and uh, the Bluetooth calling, and then it has a detachable. Uh, face on it. So everything I'm doing today I learned from YouTube. So we'll see if uh, YouTube and actually uh, some Jeep forums tell me uh, to do it right. All right so the first step is to take off the defroster plate. You can just run a, apparently, run a screwdriver under here. And I think it just has some clips. Yep. And it should just pop right out. And when you get that out, up under here, these two screws have to come out. And after I get those screws out, inside the uh, ashtray is another screw. So I'll take those off, and this whole panel should pull out. So we'll see. All right, so I have the screws out, so we'll just give this a pull. I think it has clips that actually help hold it. This is obviously easier. Oh, there it goes. All right, I'm gonna need two hands to do this. All right, well that took a little more pulling, but it comes out, it has a couple clips that are holding it in. Um, so now there's a bolt here and a bolt here that need to come out. Um, I've seen some guys pull the control for the climate out. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to do that. So uh, we'll pull the stereo. All right, so I have those two bolts out that's still in there. That's a 10 millimeter bolt, by the way keeping those two corners in. Um, I know from other videos there's a bolt in the back theoretically holding the rest of it in so it's actually way up under here. I'm thinking I'm about to take out the glove box to get to it so we'll see where it's at. Alright so I'm inside the glove box. The bolt is right <laughs> can't even feel it. It's right there, well, you can't see, but it's right back here. It's supposed to be another 10 millimeter bolt, and the guys have, that I've seen have used something about this big, so I'm gonna get my hand back there and see if we can pop that out. All right, that bolt is every bit as hard as anybody ever said. Um, it is up under here in the glove box. I didn't have enough room to work with this, and the good news is everything on this is a 10 millimeter, um, but I have watched other videos. There's screws here, there's one over here that holds the bracket. I was able to take those off, which gave me enough room to pull it out. So I had room to get my wrench around that stupid bolt. Um, everybody says that's the hardest part, and uh, here's hoping it is. All right, so I got the wiring out. Back there, that's where that bolt was connected. And it just, I'm sorry about that, it just screwed in the back of there. So anyway, got my uh, two connections left in here. I'm on with my antenna plug, um, so it's time to get into my kit that I got from Crutchfield and see what else we've got. All right, I decided the first thing I want to put in is the satellite antenna, since it's going to have to run up under the dash. Um, the plan is to run it up the uh, inside the padding of the roll bar and then mount it <coughs> on top of the sound bar. Everybody says that that works, that you'll get enough signal um, even through the hard top supposedly. So. I'm gonna route that and uh, get the wire up behind the dash so I have that ready to go. All right, so I have the antenna installed right here. Just use some Velcro since there's nothing for the magnet to grab onto. And just routed it down under the pad. Worked out well because there's already um, wires there and out. And uh, I have it out the thing. You have, if you're doing a Wrangler, you have plenty of extra cord here. So the other option is you can run through the firewall and mount it on the hood, but I'm hoping this method works. So I think the next thing is to uh, try and find it has uh, the wireless, or the wireless, the uh, Bluetooth calling. Find a place to mount this thing up front. All right, so we're coming along. Uh, I ran the wire for the, the speakerphone piece up here. I have no idea where I'm gonna mount it, so I just left some extra, I figure I can tuck it in later. Uh, the satellite cord comes in here and goes into this uh, satellite receiver. 
and then has a, se <coughs> has a separate plug that's going to go in the back of the radio. Uh, my two harnesses that came with my kit, all wired up. Uh, that goes in the back of the radio. I don't know if I needed to, but I had the. It came with a uh, new antenna cord, so I just reconnected it. It just goes under here. So I just need to find a good home for my ground wire, and I think I'll be ready to put this uh, mess back together. So let's see. All right, so I went to put it in. I didn't have enough room in the back because the bracket that was holding the old one seemed to stick out too far. I've seen some other guys take these out, so I took mine out. So like I said, no guarantees. So there's a good body mount for the ground. So I'm going to ground it there, and I hope that works. And then hopefully it'll slide in next time I try. Well, I'm happy to report I actually have sound <clears throat> and power. So, and even the, um, let's see where we go to satellite. I don't know what channel I'm on here. Let's see. I never had XM always been serious, so the channels are different. Ugh. Sorry, I can't find better music, but anyway. Satellite's working. So that's good. So I'm gonna button it back up and see what it looks like all cleaned up. So there it is guys, all installed. Clean. I put the microphone up here. We'll see if that works or not. I don't know. Jeeps aren't really uh that great with uh, sound anyway so we'll see but the audio does sound better um, and I'm pretty happy with it and I tested it with the roof up and the antenna still works so we're all good so that's the install of the Alpine CDE X SXM 145BT uh, in a Jeep O2 Wrangler later